Um, audience, you know, we, we talk about property management in different locations and how it's different in different locations. Gulf Breeze, Doug, how is Gulf Breeze different from other areas on the Emerald Coast, particularly Pensacola? Absolutely. Well, Gulf Breeze is probably the classic feeder market that's been around for decades for folks who uh, work and uh, have their careers uh, out, out of the Pensacola area. Gulf Breeze is right over the bay. Uh, and directly um, from Pensacola and you have just plenty of suburbs areas lots of uh, access to access for, through Gulf Breeze to Pensacola Beach and just the coastal lifestyle that a lot of people that move here are looking for. Okay so demand in Gulf Breeze high or low? Very high. Very high. Very like high. One of the highest in the area. Probably one of the highest if not the highest especially when it comes to rental values in general. Mm -hmm. Good so we're seeing rents compared to Pensacola how, how would you compare if you could give it a numeric, you know, what kind of percentage higher or whatever? I mean, I know it's gr it's it's a gross variation with within one city anyways, but... Yeah, I'll well, say like uh, on high to low scale of 1 to 10, maybe Pensacola was say like a, you know, a 7 or an 8, real decent. You know, Gulf Breeze is a 10 or maybe busting somehow into an 11 from time to time. <laughs> right, so. okay, great. So, and it because in the schools too... Actually, a good, a good schools, good schools. It's a very, it's a small peninsula, so obviously there's only so much land. So that really presents a very high in demand uh, rental community. Okay, so... When it comes to repairs in Gulf Breeze, what kind of special things might um, be a factor there? Uh, it depends, especially how, uh, of course, the first the age of the house would be a big one. Right. And you have older and newer homes in Gulf Breeze. It just depends. You got 40, 50 year old homes, you got 10, 20 year old homes. And obviously, the newer the home, uh, the less repairs and maintenance. Um, you will want to, of course, since you are living on, your, your property is on a peninsula, you probably are looking at higher insurance rates. Right. Obviously, more susceptible to storms and that sort of thing. But once again, the income that was generated from that rental property is higher as well. So that helps to offset, offset that expense. Yeah. Uh, also, some other expenses that have to do with Gulf Breeze, you might have more in termite, possible termite damage, so make sure that you have the termite bond on your Gulf Breeze property. Uh, could be more um, issues going on with the waterfront as far as rust and that sort of thing, so if your so house salt is near water. the water. Yep. Yeah, because the salt water is just a big, big damage point there. So. Uh, this is Rob and Doug of Rob Brooks Realty, and we're talking about property management in Gulf Breeze. Thank you for watching.